the Heart Center at Nationwide Children's Hospital has created a program dedicated to the unique needs of single ventricle patients. The Single Ventricle Program, a multidisciplinary team of cardiology experts, goes beyond cardiac care to include feeding, nutrition, and neurodevelopmental monitoring. One of the conditions the Single Ventricle Program supports is hypoplastic left heart syndrome. If your baby has hypoplastic left heart syndrome, your doctor may recommend the hybrid stage one approach. The hybrid stage one is the first of three minimally invasive procedures designed to lower the risks associated with traditional open heart surgery. The goal of the hybrid stage one is to improve the blood flow in your baby's body. The procedure is usually performed within the first week of life. The combined surgical and interventional cardiology teams will perform the hybrid stage one procedure. To begin the procedure, the surgeon will make a small incision in the chest. Once the heart is reached, bands will be placed around two blood vessels called the left pulmonary artery and the right pulmonary artery. These bands will be tightened to reduce extra blood flow to the lungs and help balance the blood flow to the baby's body. Next, a tube called a catheter will be inserted into the main pulmonary artery. From there, the catheter will be moved into a blood vessel called the patent ductus arteriosus or PDA. The PDA is a connection between the baby's pulmonary artery and aorta. The interventional cardiologist will then place a self-expanding mesh called a stent into the PDA. The stent keeps the PDA open so the baby no longer needs medication for this purpose. The stent also helps to maintain blood flow to the baby's body. Finally, the catheter will be removed. The incision will be closed and covered with sterile dressings. Your child will then be returned to the intensive care unit. About a week later, the interventional cardiologist will perform a separate procedure called a balloon atrial septostomy. In this procedure, a catheter will be inserted through a small incision in the baby's groin and threaded through blood vessels to the baby's heart. Next, the catheter will be moved through an opening in the wall between the right atrium and left atrium called the septum. Then, a balloon on the catheter tip will be inflated and pulled back through the septum to enlarge the opening. This enlargement helps direct more oxygen-rich blood to the side of the heart pumping blood to the body. The catheter will be removed at the end of the procedure. Our single ventricle team at the Heart Center at Nationwide Children's is dedicated to supporting you and your child at every stage of care. We are available to answer all of your questions at any time at 614-722-2530 and at nationwidechildrens.org slash heart.